What's up everyone, this is Cole Davis. Welcome to the 45th Transcription Tuesday. Today we're doing Stevie Wonder's Lately, which is one of the greatest songs ever written, and it has upright bass on it. But actually, it doesn't. That's a Yamaha DX7, unfortunately. The Yamaha DX7 is a synth that was very popular in the 70s and 80s, and it has a great upright bass synth sound. So the song Lately has upright bass on it, but also it doesn't because it's a synth and not an actual upright bass. I wonder why Stevie Wonder didn't just use an actual upright bass. I doubt that he couldn't find anyone. I doubt that no one was available. All the upright bass players he could have called, nobody was available to play upright bass on Hotter Than July a multi-platinum album that probably paid everyone tens of thousands of dollars. No upright bass player was available to play on that record. So instead, they had to use a synth, a Yamaha DX7. Fortunately for you all, I have transcribed it. So you can play it on upright bass and the fingerings are available on my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Cole Davis Music. What's interesting about this bass line is it doesn't sound like a bass line, probably because it's a synth and it was played on the left hand of the piano, but it sounds like a melody. And what's interesting about it is that it doesn't have the roots for the final two bars of the intro. So you have the first part of the intro, which is And then you have the last two bars of the intro. That doesn't really sound like the bass line to an intro of a popular song. I find this really interesting. So he's using on this song that the whole world is listening to, he's using a synth upright bass playing the melody. So basically it's an upright bass playing the melody to this song. So that's really interesting. If it were an actual upright bass, you'd have to play it in thumb position because there's no other way to play those notes. And here's exactly how you would do it. So I would start here. I would start on this, this D flat. Why would I do that? The same reason why Ron Carter played footprints starting on this C and not this C. Did the two notes sound different? Yes. But when you try to play footprints starting on this C, It's hard to do, right? It's really hard to do because there's too much of a leap between the intervals. But if you play it right here, you can do that for 20 minutes. You can actually do that at any level. Even if you're just starting out, you can play the baseline of footprints as long as you start on this C. So I'm going to play this baseline starting on this D flat because if I start on this D flat, well, my intonation is pretty good, but chances are it's gonna be hard for, for most bass players to get from here to here. But fortunately, I do have the fingerings for this full bass line on my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Cole Davis Music. Folks, we have the number one Patreon for upright bass players in the entire world. Can you believe that? The number one Patreon for upright bass players. When I started the Patreon, just about a year ago, we had 32 subscribers, 32 very dedicated, loyal fans that subscribe to me on Patreon. Now we have 745. I cannot believe this. We are building something great here on Patreon, so much so that I was invited to speak at the Patreon board meeting recently, and I am Patreon's digital creator of this month for the month of May. So we are building something very special here and I encourage you all to get on the Patreon and see what we're building. Some of the benefits of being a subscriber include significant discounts on all of my books. My books have sold over 5,000 copies worldwide. You get them for not 50, but 60% off, all of them. You get four hour courses that are only available on the Patreon. You get my solo bass album with sheet music, 
only available on the Patreon. I'm not going streaming. And you can DM me whenever you want. I get a lot of DMs on Instagram. I can't respond to all of them, but of course I will respond to everything on the Patreon. And we have Cole's Base Hang, which is a chat room with over 600 bass players where you can all engage with each other, ask each other questions, and connect with bass players all over the world. So subscribe today at www.patreon.com slash Cole Davis Music. Okay, back to this bass line. So this is really hard to play if you're trying to play the whole bass line. When I wrote it out, I simplified it so that way all of you could play it. And of course you can play it if you subscribe to me on Patreon because that's where the PDF is. Okay, so it goes. That's really hard to do. There are many ways of playing that. You could do. You could do. You could do. But what I like to do is one on the B flat, then thumb on the A flat. Because you're not going to do this. Even my hands aren't big enough to do that. But if you do this, anyone know what song this melody is actually from? It's the song Emily by Johnny Mandel, who's covered by Bill Evans. Stevie Wonder played jazz, so you know he got this from Emily. This there's no way that he wrote an intro that sounds like this. Without thinking about the song Emily. This obviously comes from that song. But great composers borrow, I forget what the quote is. Mediocre composers borrow, great composers steal, or something to that effect. That quote has been recycled many times, but basically, everything comes from something. So this intro actually comes from Emily, which is really cool. So I'm gonna start here. That's the first phrase of this intro. So I'm doing this. Then I move over to the one right here. Does anyone know what song this melody is actually from? It's the song Emily by Johnny Mandel, who's covered by Bill Evans. Stevie Wonder played jazz, so you know he got this from Emily. This, there's no way that he wrote an intro that sounds like this. Without thinking about the song Emily. This obviously comes from that song. But great composers borrow, I forget what the quote is, Mediocre composers borrow, great composers steal, or something to that effect. That quote has been recycled many times, but basically everything comes from something. So this intro actually comes from Emily, which is really cool. So that intro is really special, actually, because you don't hear that very often. And if only he had hired an actual upright bass player instead of using a synth, it might have been even greater. Also, it's interesting how some of the eighth notes are straight and some of them are swung. So, in the beginning, that could either be a triplet or a swung eighth note. I wrote it as a triplet, but either works. Then in this B flat minor seven, that's pretty straight. And this part is swung. gives a kind of triplet 12-8 feel for the rest of the song. That's all for today, folks. You can find this transcription at my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Cole Davis Music. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, the comments on my recent Instagram video are killing me. This is hysterical. I'm sorry for ever looking at a piece of wood. I'm sorry for picking up a bass. He's not just solving 
he's not just cooking, he's solving world hunger. These comments are hysterical. Keep them going. CV out. So I'm going to start here. That's the first phrase of this intro. So I'm doing this. Then I move over to the one right here. Does anyone know what song this melody is actually from? It's the song Emily by Johnny Mandel, which was covered by Bill Evans. Stevie Wonder played jazz, so you know he got this from Emily. This, there's no way that he wrote an intro that sounds like this. Without thinking about the song Emily. This obviously comes from that song. But great composers borrow, I forget what the quote is, mediocre composers borrow, great composers steal, or something to that effect. That quote has been recycled many times, but basically everything comes from something. So this intro actually comes from Emily, which is really cool. 